What's up fellow tech heads? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and I want to give you an overview of the Sense UI found on the HTC Hero. Now this device that I'm using is an unlocked device with no US 3G bands. As of now it has not been picked up by a US carrier but the operating system and the skin on top of it is really unique so I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. So first let's go ahead and unlock it. For those of you that maybe don't know this operating system or the skin on top of it, it's again called Sense UI, made by HTC, which is a hardware manufacturer, and it's sitting on top of the Android operating system. Some of you might be familiar with other HTC devices, and this may even look familiar to you as cues from TouchFlow and TouchFlow 3D that are found on Windows mobile phones um, have taken some cues from that. Let's go ahead and get started. This is a widget-based interface, and I'll show you what that means in just a moment. So on typical Android devices, you've got three home screens that you can slide around to. And this really takes that three home screens and uh, more than doubles it actually gives you access to seven home screens. I'm just scrolling around here and you can see that there are a lot of screens to use. So let me show you what you can do with these screens. This is what I have set for my home screen. I've got a big clock widget with a weather widget down below. You can see I'm in Irvine. And that will actually automatically adjust per your location, which is actually quite neat. And these are just shortcuts that I have on what I consider to be my mobile desktop. And you can move these shortcuts around just by holding it down. And you can tap and move them around. You can see that little square glows to let you know where you can put an icon. If you want to delete it when you're holding it, you just drag it down to remove. It'll glow red and you let go and there it is. So let me show you some of the widgets that you have a choice of putting on here and some of the customizations that you can do. So the big one right here is clearly the clock and below that the weather. So if I tap it, I get much more clock information. Now I'm in the Pacific time zone, I can add a city. Here's some cities that I've added for some global times. You've got alarms, you've got a stopwatch, and then you've got a timer with a very familiar looking dial interface. Let's go back home. We'll go over to the next screen here. In fact, let's go, go to a blank screen and I can show you some of the widgets that you can add. So you add widgets quite simply by using this plus button and it pulls up a list of what you can add to the home. You can add shortcuts and here are some already pre-described shortcuts, so bookmarks, Google Mail, Mail Inbox, and programs. You go ahead and just select whatever program you want and put an icon right in. So I'll show you what that looks like. Let's say I want to put in my Mail Inbox, for example. Just a standard shortcut. I don't have any mail set up here actually, so that was a bad choice. Let's say I want to set up music player, music playlist. We'll add a playlist. And I go ahead and hit back. And you can see what sort of these options look like for you. So going back to the added shortcuts, you've got HTC widgets, and this is where well, the HTC customization comes into play. Let me show you what these are. These are really the most exciting ones on here. You have bookmarks, calendar, clock, footprints, so I'll show you about in a minute. Mail, message, music, people, photo album, photo frame, search, settings, stocks, Twitter, and weather. So I'm give you just a sampling of what you can do here. Let's say I want to pick bookmarks. I'll go ahead and tap that. <laughs> go ahead and tap that. And you can choose different layouts that you want it to have. So grid layout, or the four icons. I like the four icons, so I'll select it. And now there is on one of my home screens. So as I slide, there's my main home screen, there's one on the side, and now here is that bookmarks. And I can tap it, there's not really much that I can move it, but you can move it around just a little bit. If you want to erase it, you go ahead and drop it down. So let me show you some of the other widgets that you can add here, and some of them are very cool. So you've got a calendar, you can choose to have it view a big calendar. You notice that this calendar looks quite different actually than the standard Android calendar. This is an example of HTC sort of going below the surface of Android and really putting some of their customizations into the core functionality. You can view it sort of a small piece that you can move anywhere you want that shows you when your next appointment is. And those are your only two choices. So I'll go ahead and use the back button and go back. Now we've got clock, and there's a lot of clock options. You've got technically 12 different clock options. Some analog clocks, there's a big old digital clock. Just a ton of different choices. 
And some of them are actually pretty neat how they look. You can really customize this any way you want. And that's one of the nice things about Android, in particular the Sense UI, is you get complete customization over your home screen, which is certainly not found on other popular capacitive touchscreen devices that I'm not going to name. So we'll go back. And there's one called Footprints, which is actually kind of new. Let me give you a quick overview about what that is. So you can select a widget style. Let's pick the big one. Go ahead and hit select. Essentially what Footprints does, it's quite simply, it does geotagging. So there's a sample picture that I took. And you can see it says Irvine 01. It picked up my location using the built-in GPS. And it'll geotag your pictures if you want to email them out or post them to Twitter, whatever you want. It's just HTC's own version of geotagging. Kind of neat. So I'll show you just a few more of these widgets that you have the option of putting in your home screen. We'll go ahead and remove that. And you'll see that things are very fluid. They look nice and they work quite well with the Sense UI. Let's go ahead and add a few more HTC widgets. You can add people and you can pick your favorite people. Photo album, you can go ahead and scroll through all your photos. I'll show you what that looks like. Let's select it. And select an album, we'll just use all photos. And you get sort of a shortcut and a snapshot to all your photos. It's actually quite neat. You can scroll through them. Find one that you like. Let's say this one that sort of looks like Katie Holmes. Go ahead and open it up. And that takes you to the photo viewer. And you can take advantage of the multi-touch that actually HTC put on this. You can zoom in with two fingers and zoom out. And you can scroll to the next picture. And this will also use the accelerometer if you want to turn the device on another note. So those are some of the HTC widgets that you can add. I can spend probably another 15 minutes going over these with you, but in brevity's interest, I won't do that. So let me show you some of the other options that we have. The back button. One more time. Okay. We'll go to a new home screen. And you also have the ability to add the standard Android widgets that people are used to. And one of the cool things about Android that you get the ability to, again, customize your home screen. You can put folders there and you can drag down folders any way you want. And I really like that about the operating system. So you got some of your standard ones here is a battery widget that I had downloaded. Analog clock, it's kind of standard on most Android devices. And this will look pretty familiar. And you can move it around just like you can on other Android devices. You'll see that little square that follows it around to help you put your icons wherever you want. And to further show that, if I select, say, Google Maps here, you can see that it follows me around to let me know where I've got room to put icons. And you can really customize this any way you want. And you've got all these home screens. One thing I will say, though, if I'm all the way on the leftmost home screen, I want to get all the way back to the right, there isn't a home button that I can use that'll take me both back to the side or that'll help me move along. You gotta scroll through each screen individually. So I can, like I said, if I hit home, it'll take me right back to that home, but if I wanna keep scrolling, I gotta keep scrolling all the way through. I wish there was an easier way to navigate through these screens. You can use the trackball as well to scroll through these, but it's not the quickest way to do it. If you notice right here as I'm scrolling, there's a little bar that's moving with me. And I wish there was a way to sort of tag that bar and move along, but there isn't, unfortunately. So some of the other things about this operating system, it's very social network friendly, meaning when you first set it up, it'll ask you if you have a Twitter account, Facebook, MySpace, all these social networking features that integrate right into these widgets. You'll see right here, for example, I've got a Twitter widget that really came, comes built into the device and takes advantage of the notification bar. So it'll say, how many new tweets I have, and uses a client called Peep, which is very nice in practice, but I'll say that this client Peep crashes on me, not seeing one out of every three uses. So it's great in theory, not so great in practice. Let me go ahead and scroll that right up. So and again, like all Android devices, you can change the background here. I've got a map of the world, I thought it was kind of neat. And you can just put there whatever you like. Anyway guys, I wanted to give you an overview of the Sense UI. It really is a great user interface, although it is very processor intensive and also RAM and ROM intensive. ROM meaning it takes a lot of program memory and RAM it uses a lot of, well, the free memory to run it. So it does get a little bit boggy and HTC Hero 
has a well, well over a 500 megahertz processor, but it's severely taxed using this Sense UI. So things can be a little bit slow. I think that this user interface is gonna be perfect when processor speeds gets a little bit faster, or perhaps as HTC learns to optimize it. I wouldn't be surprised to see this make its way on other Android devices, perhaps even backwards compatible for older Android devices. I would also expect to see this possibly take some cues onto the new version of TouchFlow 3D that's gonna be on Windows mobile devices. This really is a great implementation. I've been really happy with it. I've been using it for my primary phone for the past few days and it's been very fluid and really easy to learn. So guys, hope you enjoyed. For exclusive content, be sure to check me out at Twitter, twitter.com slash john 4 lakers And if you want to learn more about Techno Buffalo, go ahead and check out Techno Buffalo at technobuffalo.com or twitter.com slash technobuffalo. Anyway, I'll put all these links in the sidebar, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.